hi everyone welcome back to my channel uh, we are still busy with this question paper for the preparation of our examination that was written on 16 november 2021 thank you for following me and liking my videos and subscribing to my channel so in this video i'll be focusing on the debit notes the return to the suppliers as we have created a uh, video number one two and three so this is the fourth video that continues with this question paper that was written on 16 November 2021. So we are working on pastel and we are processing our supplier document. Where do we go to do that? We go to process suppliers. Uh, and in the previous video, I was dealing with the supplier invoices where we created um, the uh, this uh, following suppliers, Pretty Woman, as well as Amali suppliers. So this uh, we created on the previous uh, video. So now we are going to look at the returns. So if we have to do the returns, if it's a stock that we are returning, we have to do the, the returns on the debit note. So you need to check on the information that you are given. Uh, uh, whom are you returning to? As you can see there on page 11, Item number nine, you have two returns that you need to make. One, you must return to Pretty Woman. As you can remember that with Pretty Woman, we're buying the stock there. So that's why we are going to do this return on the debit note. But uh, the return that must be done uh, for CompuWeld, you remember that we're not buying stock or, or in, with that uh, supplier. So uh, the return will be done in the supplier's allowances journal. So... I'm going to start now returning to Pretty Woman. So I'm going to open the supplier that I want to work with, which is Pretty Woman. I can press enter or I can use tab on my keyboard uh, to go to the date to make sure that uh, I put the correct date when, when I made my return, which is the 20th. Then I press tab. I make sure that the period is also correct. And then it asks me of the original invoice. You must go back to your original credit notes, uh, or sorry, credit invoice that is on page 10. Uh, the original invoice number was PW21. You need to put that in. Then you press tab. Then it's going to ask you, was there a, a trade discount that was given when you were doing this purchase? Yes, if you look at the invoice on, on page 10, there was a discount or trade discount of 5%. So don't worry about the payment due. Just tap to the next line where now we are going to put in the items that you are returning. So you tap and then you open your stock. And then what are you returning? According to page 11, you are returning the cleanser. So you must select the cleanser. And then you must indicate uh, how many quantity you are returning. You are returning two. Then you press tap again, tax is okay, but you have to check your prices, whether they agree with your original invoice. You'll see that the prices, this price does not agree with, agree with the original invoice. So what does that mean? It means that we must change this price to, uh, to be the same as the one that is appearing on the original invoice on page number 10. So the original invoice says we bought these cleansers at 43 rand comma 21 so that's what we're going to put there and then you tap to the next line in the next line we are going to indicate the reason why we are returning uh, this item to the supplier so we must now select a remark you select a remark then you tap uh, when, whilst, when we are there you you zoom in you open uh, this uh, screen and then under remark you are going to say uh, what happened? Why are you returning this item? You will say date expired. Okay. And once you have done that, you must now press tab on your keyboard so that the computer registers that you have uh, put in the new information. Then from there, you can use select. Okay. So now it will indicate that you are returning the cleanser because the, the date expired. So uh, that is uh, the first line. If you don't want to put the reason here, remember you can always put the reason in the message box there. I will show you later how you put the reasons on the message box here. So I'm going to continue to record this return. What else are we returning? 
We are also retaining the day cream. Okay, select the day cream there. And how many are you retaining? You are retaining three. And at what price? So the price is 45,98. So we need to check whether that price uh, agrees with what, how, I mean, with, with the amount that we purchase this day cream with. If you look at page 10, you will see that the day cream was purchased uh, with 54 rand, comma, 32. Note the amount that was appearing there. So you need to change that as well. So you tap uh, to the next line. In the next line, what do you do? You activate the, the remark so that you can put uh, the reason why you are retaining this item. Under the remark, you will uh, indicate that you are retaining this because the seal uh, was removed. So the seal removed. And then you press tab. Press tab so that you can this field will be changed. And then you can select the reason there. So once you have done that, it means now uh, you are done with this invoice if there were two items that you need to return and then you have uh, put them in you have indicated their reasons so if you don't want to put the reasons as the remarks you can put the reason uh, in the message box there but if you put them in a message box you must indicate uh, the code of the the item and then you indicate the reason why that item uh, was returned so the CLS, you return them because the date expired. And then you press enter, and then you indicate it, that DAS, that's the second uh, item that you, are, you returned. And then you, re, you, you indicate that it's because the seal uh, was removed. Okay, so you can see in this uh, return, the reason for a return, you can put them here or you can put them here. So you don't, you can't do both. You have to decide which one you are compatible uh, to do. Is, is it to put the reason here or to put the reason there? So um, that's all about your, your, your debit note. So right now what you do, you click on next document or you can print your document. Uh, and then I'm going to print on a PDF. I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to call this uh, return as DEB, uh, DEB01. So I'm going to save it. And then uh, I can check how does it look like. I can check how does it look like my DEB or my return or my, my debit note there. So this is how it's going to look like. This is the information that you have put in there. It's a debit note um, uh, to Pretty Woman. And then all the information that we're putting in there and all the items that we're returning and also the reasons. You can see the reasons are appearing there. If you don't, uh, you didn't put the reasons there, uh, you have put the, your reasons here. So this is the whole uh, debit note that you have created. So that is all about your return to the suppliers. If you are returning your stock item, you will do your returns through the uh, debit note. Thank you very much for watching. Please like my videos and subscribe to my channel.